Welcome back. Now, tributes are pouring in for well-known South African actor uh, Jamie Bartlett, who died at the age of 55. He was best known for playing the role of David Gennaro in Rhythm City and Mike O'Reilly in Isidingo. Internationally acclaimed filmmaker Anant Singh worked closely with Bartlett, and he joins us now live just in remembrance of him. How did you feel when you heard the news yesterday? I mean, I saw some celebrities posting photos having been with him at a function on Sunday, and then suddenly yesterday the news breaks. Yeah, I know it was very sudden and very tragic. I'm at the Cannes Film Festival and uh, uh, I've attended several film festivals with Jamie over the years. Uh, we've worked together on probably five or six films going back in the last 25 years and he was an enormous talent and uh, very uh, shocked to hear the news of his passing. Um, I was very sad and uh, being uh, at a film festival where he uh, always enjoyed being um, uh, there to promote and celebrate film uh, from South Africa, it's a huge loss to our industry. Mm. What are the, some, some of the moments you, you'll remember about him? I mean, obviously a lot of people remember David Janeiro, but that's not the only character he played. That's just, one, that's just the famous one. Well, you know, in uh, um, the film Red Dust, which he starred opposite uh, Chuitel Ijifor and uh, um, Hilary Swank, both of whom were Oscar-winning uh, and Oscar-nominated actors, um, which we shot in Croft um, he played the role of a uh, apartheid uh, policeman, and he was devastatingly good, uh, very menacing. And uh, we went to Toronto together with the film, and uh, also in Mandela, he paid, uh, played James Gregory, uh, Madiba's warder, and uh, really gave exceptional performances whenever he um, acted. Um, you just put him in front of a camera and he uh, was so memorable um, in feature films and in television later when he began uh, moving on uh, to uh, TV. But um, it, it, he will be hugely missed and his talent is an inspiration uh, to young actors uh, all across the country uh, to learn their craft, to work hard. And, you know, he bring, brought his own dimension into the roles that he played, which was um, so special. Mm. I think with me, uh, one of the memories that I'd, I would have of him, um, you know, was being with him in theater. I think that was also uh, something that he really liked. And he would even comment um, every time an actor or an, act or an actress performed well on stage, etc. Is that how he was in life in, life in general? Oh, the one thing about, uh, about it, Jamie, was you always knew where you stood. And, you know, we have this relationship where, um, you know, he tells you as it is and Obviously, I'd, I'd do the same anyway, uh, but, you know, that was the great thing about him. Even if he didn't like a script or he didn't like his role, um, you know, I mean, sometimes he, he wanted his role to be bigger, but uh, at the same time, he would, need, he would motivate that if he, uh, if he wanted that. And, and as I said, he held his own against the best actors in the world, and uh, they were very proud to be working alongside him. Mm. Uh, how is his family? Have you been able to, have you gotten the chance to speak to his loved ones? How are they? Especially, um, you know, like you confirmed a little earlier on about the fact that this was so sudden. You know, unfortunately, I haven't. I, I got up to the news in Cannes uh, this morning. Um, I've, um, you know, and I'm trying to, I've, I've sent a note to them, but um, uh, hopefully I'll I'll hear from them or he get some uh, communication in the days to come. But, mm. no, you know, I know it's going to be devastating. As you mm. said, he was in an event this weekend and to suddenly have this um, happen. But that being said, I know from, not from the Jamie I know, if he would, if you, you know, going going this way is very much him. He You know, he wouldn't have liked to have suffered and, you know, so... Uh, let, let him rest in peace and my condolences to his family uh, and uh, the industry and friends. Mm. Uh, just lastly, Mr. Singh, you know, um, we used to hear, I mean, I was a fan of Rhythm City at some point, and uh, some of the lines that he would uh, bring up on set would be so funny that as the viewer, you would not understand where that line would be coming from. So there was a time when an interview was done, and they said that sometimes they don't even know what line he's going to say next. He would just create according to the scene. Is that how he was with every um, character? Look, I think what... I think TV allows allowed him to do more and be more creative in that way. But I think in film, 
you know, when before you shoot the film, you have discussions about it. So, mm. you know, you ex know exactly what the lines are going to be. And he would always contribute in that communication with the director. And then the outcome is, you know, what what you see on the screen. Mm. So he, he 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 understood film. He understood theater. And his passion, as you said, was theater. All right. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us about Jamie Bartlett. That is a filmmaker uh, announcing speaking to us there from Cannes.